I think they're going to be using the Japanese version, not the translated version of Samurai Pizza Cuts. Um, but I'll be using the U.S. just to show you guys what everything is. Okay, so this game has like a huge... So, uh, first of all, you can skip through all these cutscenes using hitting start and then select. So you just get through them all. Uh, start with Speedy, or the first guy, White Cap. Hit start. So this game has a, uh, a crucial um, glitch we'll be using for the entire game. Uh, you're going to swing halfway through, and then it's with any of the characters, and... Um, you're gonna change to Bat Cat. Uh, you use Bat Cat because you're just gonna run. You run by double tapping left or right. You just run the entire time, and then there's sometimes you need to fly. Uh, flying uses your um, your bottom meter. Uh, well, actually, this help meter that you see. Uh, the help meter is the ability that each uh, each different cat has different abilities. So Bat Cat can fly. This guy can swim fast. This guy can punch through big rocks. This guy can drill through stuff. And then Speedy has uh, just the best overall balance player. Uh, but the reason why we use Speedy uh, for the initial um, selection is we get his bottom left Nympho meter up to three. And that gets you an attack that kills any boss in two hits. Um, or at least like you do two of those and then you, uh, you hit him twice. Um, so you, through the level, we want to get this bottom left meter up to the third Nimpo, and then we want to make sure our bottom right, which our special attack, uh, you do your special attack by holding up, and then you hit the button, uh, B, and it will use the bottom right meter. You want to make sure that's fill, uh, full going into the boss fight. If you hit the boss on the very first frame, you will instantly kill it, uh, the very first frame. If not, if you do it like within the first like five frames, you'll actually get suctioned over to the right side of the boss. Um, but you can still continue your attack. Uh, your attack, your special attack that he does on the third Nympho level, uh, you can only do it twice. Sometimes, if you tap the button as you're doing the first attack, you're able to get a third one off, and then that kills the boss instantly. So most bosses, except for the fish boss, can be killed on the first frame. The other ones, you're going to do uh, two special attacks and then two sword hits, and then every boss is done in this game. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna make sure the glitch is active. So we swing, mid swing, change to Bat Cat, double tap to run, and see. Our hitbox, like our sword, what would be, is permanently active. So you just you just run through the game. And it's a fun game to run through. Hey, Goaty. So we're on the second Nympho weapon. And yeah, you do multiple hits of damage. I'm gonna fly here to get the third Nympho. You can fall on the first or the second part. So you want to change to uh, Speedy before you get to this. Uh, it has an intermission in between each boss. You hit select and start to speed into it, and then try to instantly hit up and B to get that uh, quick kill. Didn't get it, but it's still a really quick kill, so. Yeah, the glitch is easy to do. You wanna get this Nympho? And then you wanna fall here to the left. Okay, so if you get hit, the glitch actually unactivates itself, so you have to reactivate it. 
I usually go to uh, this second cat right here and then reactivate it. There's the third nympho I needed. Play over this guy. Change back. Can't do the instant quick kill for this. So you actually want to wait for this guy. And he dies instantly on the second one. There's some instances where you want to uh, tap your flight as opposed to holding it. Holding it uh, makes it so it uses quicker. And you're able to uh, get to places by tapping it as well. I always have to wait here, otherwise you get hit. For that pattern. Don't really need that. But... Most... Uh, like Mega Man, you want to you want to jump up the ladder and get as high as you can, and then climb it. Now, I don't remember if I need the third Nimpo here or not. We'll just go ahead and respawn it. There's some instances where you want to you know re-enter the room to respawn a uh, to respawn the Nimpo. Okay, so I didn't need that bell, so don't go back and get that bell. So after this, change to back cat and fly up here and hit him. Sometimes that guy doesn't uh, get killed right away, so sometimes I do a little pause there. Uh, the bells refill your top health meter. Which is like your special ability. His specialty, which I'm changing to, this middle guy, is to punch through giant rocks. So you have to at least have that uh, meter somewhat filled. Your special attack is uh, the one at the very bottom is the one where you hold up to do like like a super attack, uh, depending on what nympho uh, level you're on uh, in the bottom left corner. Oh, sorry. So yeah, you don't you have to use his Nimpo there. You just hold right and punch. So that's what I was messing up. So I'm gonna reactivate the glitch in case it got unactivated. Uh, this is definitely one that you respawn. This Nimpo right here. So I'm at the third level. You can see in the bottom left corner. I used my uh, meter earlier. I can't do the quicker kill. Uh, what you can do is you notice if he throws the if he throws the attack to the right, it just doesn't off screen. It, it just doesn't come on screen. Yeah, backcat's the way to go for the speed run. So you want to respawn this twice. And kill that guy because he can cause some uh, issue. So you can jump off the ladders like I just did. You're going to change to this cat to get through here. And then you change to this guy. On the second one, the second punch, you're going to reactivate the glitch. Jump off the ladder. Double tap to run.
So you saw I did it a little bit late and it'll like vacuum you to the right side of the screen. That guy will, uh, you can't just walk through. So you have to wait for a second. This is another instance where we're going to, um, respawn the Nympho. So you just re-enter the, re-enter the section. change into the, the swimming cat and then you can punch through the wall here not sure if the hack is active or not nope. so when you punch through that wall you want to reactivate the hack in case if it goes sour So, I messed up there. I should have got that bell. The bell refills your, like, special cat's ability to swim faster. It looks like I still had enough of the help meter to swim quick enough. I'm gonna go left here. Get this first Nimpo. Go right. This is a bit of a maze if you don't know this. If you were to play this level blind, you would get stuck. A little bit. I'm gonna hop here on the conveyor. Stay on the second tier. And then you wanna fall down up here. The third info. There we go. There's a quick kill. You get it on the first frame. Nice. You gotta kill that guy, otherwise he'll hit you from behind. Now there's a way to speed through these that I don't know. Uh, if anybody does know that, let me know so I can include that. So you want to spawn this Nimpo twice. That's the first one. You want to recollect it. Okay. So since I got hit, I have to reactivate the glitch. And second one here. Change to the guy who can punch through rocks. I'm gonna reactivate the glitch just in case. So see how that guy uh, you can't always run through. So that's why I usually uh, stop. Ah oh, shit! I was the wrong guy. So we'll only get one hit off. So this will be a little bit of a longer fight than normal. You can get two hits sometimes uh, with the sword. If you do a... two hits in one jump, you just have to time it correctly. Yeah, this one's really easy. It's a really fun game, though. It's made by the same makers of uh, Ninja Gaiden, so... You know, it has a good engine. Good music. Oops. Reactivate glitch. 
So these lightning bolts, um, you can actually, if you're at the very far left or very far right, right corner, you can actually get through them without getting hit. Just like that. So you, again, you want to jump up ladders and then hit up. You want to respawn this, Nympho? So you're at level 3. Tap to fly through there. Now this boss is kind of a pain in the butt if you don't get it correctly. Nope. There we go. That was the double, so he'll, he'll require less hits. So these music notes uh, home in on you. Again, if they throw it off screen, uh, they don't come on. Uh, they don't float over to the main screen. What was that? Uh, you can actually... Okay, good. I'm glad this actually happened. Um, so sometimes the ladder will not spawn. There's supposed to be a ladder right here. Uh, if that's the case, you have to just kill yourself and restart the level. Uh, I haven't figured out what makes it happen, other than if you load... The, I think you load the room too quickly. So... Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I want to make sure I get hit so I can get damaged. Otherwise, I would just die to this guy. So this, is, this has killed my runs before. Uh, but it is something that you... Hopefully from the, the big 20, we'll actually learn why this happens and be able to avoid it. Or if it, if it is known, I don't know it, why it happens. Oops. That's the way it's supposed to be. Wait for this guy right here. There's a few different setups for this rock pattern. I like this one. Uh, you can go up here to refill your help meter if you need. Usually you don't need it. Want to change to the cat to be able to swim through this quicker, and then you can skip a part of the level right there. If something hits you from behind, even with a glitch, it usually will, uh, it can damage you. So you want to just turn around to get it. Okay, so my help meter is out because of bad management earlier. Usually you should be fine. So what you have to do is you don't swim fast and you go slowly through this section, but it's fine. Uh, you actually need it though, so you're able to get it here. Because you need to be back cat to get up here to the right. When you, as soon as you get on the platform, you want to change over to this guy to punch through the rock. Normally I only use one, I just remembered I normally only use one here, because you have two bosses to fight here. Uh, you get a health refill at the end of this boss, which spawns right here. But so since we did two, we're not going to be able to do a uh, an attempted quick kill. You can quick kill both these guys. So I won't be able to get a attempted quick kill. This guy's easy, uh, his flames come in towards you. Uh, with the, if you have full health, you can basically just, you know, damage your way through this whole boss. I have been here where you have to play conservative if you're low health. This is the last level. It can definitely cause, uh, some heartache. <laughs> Probably the hardest of, you know, levels in this game. 
you get damage at all, uh, you can mess up the run later. So we'll be respawning the Nimbo here twice. You have to wait for this. Fall through. Can quick kill the last boss. Didn't get it. So when he's doing this, you can just hit one of his patterns, but you risk uh, getting hit. But you do damage them, so... Damn. You better not kill me. There we go. So that's the game. Weird story. It's funny. 